Hi everyone, welcome back to Vietnamese with Thuy. So for today's lesson, our topic is about hobbies and what do you usually do in your free time. I hope that you would enjoy it. And before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, let us start. Now for the first part, let us go through the conversation in Vietnamese. Chị Mai, khi dỗi chị thường làm gì? Tôi thường đọc sách, nghe nhạc hoặc đi chơi với bạn. Tôi cũng thích đọc sách. Chị thường đọc loại sách gì? Tôi đọc các sách truyện trinh thám và sách khoa học. Ngoài đọc sách ra, anh còn làm gì nữa? Tôi thích chơi thể thao và đi du lịch. Anh đã đi những đâu rồi? Tôi đã đi Singapore và Úc rồi. Tôi rất muốn đi Mỹ nữa. Thật tuyệt! Tôi cũng muốn đi Mỹ tham quan một lần. Now, let's go through the conversation sentence by sentence. First one, we have Chị Mai khi dỗi chị thường làm gì? Which means Mai, what do you usually do in your free time? Tôi thường đọc sách Nghe nhạc Hoặc đi chơi với bạn This means I usually read books Listen to music And hang out with my friends Tôi cũng thích đọc sách Chị thường đọc loại sách gì? This means I also like reading books What kind of books do you usually read? Tôi đọc sách truyện trinh thám và sách khoa học. This one means I like detective stories and science books. Ngoài đọc sách ra, anh còn làm gì nữa? This means besides reading, what else do you usually do? Tôi thích chơi thể thao và đi du lịch. This one means I like playing sports and traveling. Anh đã đi những đâu rồi? This one means where have you been to? Tôi đã đi Singapore và Úc rồi. This means I've been to Singapore and Australia. Tôi còn muốn đi Mỹ nữa. This one means, I really want to go to America. And for the last one, we have, Thật tuyệt! Tôi cũng muốn đi Mỹ tham quan một lần. Which means, that's great! I also want to visit America once. For the next part, let us go through the new words for today's lesson. First one, we have, Zoi Zoi, this one means free. Thường, thường, this means usually. Làm, làm, this one means to do. Đọc, đọc, this means to read. So we have đọc sách, đọc sách which means read books nghe nhạc nghe nhạc this means listen to music đi chơi đi chơi this means to hang out với với this means with bạn bạn this one means friends. So we have the phrase đi chơi với bạn. Đi chơi với bạn, which means to hang out with friends. 
Take. Take. This one means to like. Loi. Loi. This one means type or kind. Chuyen. Chuyen. This one means story. Ching tam. Ching tam. This means detective. So we have chuyen ching tam. Chuyen ching tam. Which means detective story. Hoa hao. Hoa hao. This one means science. Sight. Sight. This means book. So we have sight hoa hao. Sight hoa hao. Which means science book. Thể thao, thể thao. This one means sports. Chơi thể thao, chơi thể thao. This means to play sports. Đi du lịch, đi du lịch. This one means to travel. Muốn, muốn. This one means want. Tham quan, tham quan. This means sightseeing or visit. Một lần, một lần. This one means one time or once. Now for the next part, let us go through the grammar structure for today's lesson. First one, when you want to ask, what do you usually do in your free time? We have the grammar structure. Personal pronoun plus thường làm gì khi dỗi. This one means what do you usually do in your free time? For example, anh thường làm gì khi dỗi? Chị thường làm gì khi dỗi? Or we can also say it in another order when we put the word khi dỗi in front. So we have khi dỗi chị thường làm gì? They all mean the same thing, which is what do you usually do in your free time? Next one, we have the grammar structure when you want to say I usually do something. We have personal pronoun plus thường plus the verb or activities that you do. We have the word thường which means usually. And this one means I usually do something. For example, Tôi thường đọc sách, which means I usually read books. Em thường nghe nhạc, this one means I usually listen to music. And we have the word tôi and em as personal pronoun. And đọc sách and nghe nhạc as the activities that you do. Next one is how to say I like doing something. For confirmative sentence, we have personal pronoun plus take plus the verb or activities this one means i like doing something and for negative sentence we have personal pronoun plus không take plus the verb or activities and for example we have tôi không thích nghe nhạc this means i don't like listen to music or tôi thích đi chơi với bạn this one means I like hanging out with my friends. Next one is the grammar structure when you want to say I want to do something. We have confirmative sentence, personal pronoun plus muốn plus verb or activities. So the word muốn means want. This one means I want to do something. And for negative sentence, we have personal pronoun plus không muốn plus the verb or activities so không muốn means don't want for example we have tôi muốn đi Mỹ which means I want to go to America tôi không muốn đi du lịch this one means I don't want to travel next one is the grammar structure when you want to say besides doing something 
we have my plus the verb this one means besides doing something and for example we have ngoài đọc sách this one means besides reading ngoài xem phim this means besides watching movies and next one is how to say some plural nouns we can add the word những and các plus the noun for example we have những quyển sách this one means these or those books những đâu this one means what places so we have the question anh đã đi những đâu rồi this one means what places have you been to So that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope that you find it useful and learn something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment on what you want to learn for the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.